Hi, I'm Carly Militello. I work here in New York City for a salon called Cutler Salon in Soho. I also work at a salon called Hair Reformation in Buffalo. We're here, another episode of Beauty School, to talk about the money piece. The money piece is so popular right now. It's all over Instagram, it's all over um, really the magazines everywhere. It is a very bold, like strategic highlight around the face. It's meant to mimic balayage and that really sun-kissed look. If you want this look and you're looking for a money piece, everybody and anybody can have it. It doesn't really matter the texture of your hair. It doesn't really matter the color of your hair. It could be for blondes. It could be for brunettes, fantasy colors. It could be really bold or, or really subtle. So most recently, the money piece trend started trending. Um, I don't know if you guys saw that Beyonce look with a really light ribbon around her face. And it's just taken off in a lot of different ways. I don't feel like that's when the money piece really started. If you think back, like in the 90s, there were these really bold face framing highlights. But um, it was very different then. It was really chunky um, and it grew out not beautifully. And so this is a more updated version for our you know, generation or for this time that is really soft. It can grow out really beautifully, but still give you that um, pop of color around your face. It is so flattering. Okay, so we're gonna do the money piece on you today. It's something that's really trending. It's so beautiful. It will look gorgeous on you. Are you looking for um, like a big transformation? So I'm looking for something that's gonna be bold. I've had my highlights done a couple of months ago and I really need something that's just gonna be more vibrant and brighten my face up. Yeah, that makes sense. It'll be mm -hmm. beautiful on you. You have some shorter pieces in here, so I just wanna make sure that I'm really strategic with mm -hmm. you know where I'm making this ribbon. I also noticed that you have like some, some really dark pieces under here. Yeah. So let's brighten that up and, and, and make this kind of bold transformation that can grow out really easily. Great. So we're gonna section her off, keeping in mind where the money piece, where we want to see it. If you guys remember how I showed you before, she has tons of layering in the front of her hair. So to create this money piece effect, a lot of the highlights actually have to come from over here in the lengths. So the benefits of having a money piece is, you know, it's really trending and it, it looks really cool. So it's something that you can do in the salon that can be pretty quick to have a really impactful transformation. It could possibly be more affordable for those that are on a tight budget because you're not doing the full head of highlights that takes um, a much longer time, but you're getting that big statement transformation because it's really framing your face. It can be bold or it can be really subtle, which I think is beautiful for all skin tones and all face shapes and haircuts and you really can play with this trend. So now to create the middle part of this money piece, we are going to do a mixture of baby lights and teasy lights. This technique that I came up with is a mixture of a bunch of different techniques to create this look. I do see a lot of people doing the money piece and doing it how, you know, we used to maybe do it like more in the 90s and doing these back-to-back -back highlights, which created a obviously very bold ribbon, but really chunky, not a beautiful grow out. I am not putting back-to-back -back highlights here. Most of the ribbon work is through teasy lights and like scooped teasy end lights to create this ribbon that can continues to the lengths and the ends of the hair. With her, she has so many layers in the front, so many short pieces that if I don't put all of these ends in, it will get lost and it will just look like a chunk in front. We want it to look like a ribbon, root to end. The maintenance for a money piece highlight is really, you know, depends on how bold you want it um, and the tone that you want it. So if you want it quite soft and really it can still be bold and through the ends, that will grow out like a very soft balayage. If you want it more impactful, it will grow out, you know, a little bit stronger. The maintenance is very low 
unless you want a really ashy tone. To maintain an ashy color, you really want to come back into the salon, but you're just coming in for a gloss to fix the tone. You don't have to do the whole money piece all over. If highlights are done correctly, they really should not damage your hair, but sometimes people's hair is a little bit compromised already, so just remember you want to use a really good shampoo and conditioner. You want something professional. Redken has amazing shampoos and conditioners. They're all sulfate-free. It's gonna really keep your color. Wash as little as possible, like every other day, max. Um, and then at the salon, there are treatments that you can do directly after we do the color that can repair the hair. Now this is going to be the most beautiful seamless ribbon without it being chunky at all because there's only one foil that is to the root. And every other foil strategically goes longer and creates that balayage, sun-kissed look. So we rinsed out all of her highlights. We shampooed with the Extreme Shampoo by Redken. And then we used this um, bleach recovery, Extreme Bleach Recovery Treatment. It's a lamellar treatment. It's applied to towel dried shampoo, towel dried hair. And you leave it on about five minutes. And then we rinsed, towel dried, and then I applied all the gloss. The toning process, I made um, these roots just like a little bit softer and left the ends really bright. She wants a really big transformation. So this is gonna be high contrast um, and really impactful. So this is the finished result of my money piece technique. I hope you guys love it as much as I do. So as you guys can see, like it's not really bold here. Like people are not scared when they see this finished result, but it did dramatically change her look. And that is what we're going for. Thank you for watching this episode of Beauty School. I hope you liked my version, my technique of the money piece. If you are a colorist, I hope you take what you take from it. If you are wanting this look, see your colorist or come see me in New York City. I'm at Cutler Salon in Soho. And in Buffalo, New York, I'm at Hair Reformation. Please follow me on Instagram. My handle is Carly Militello. And I hope to see you guys again.